Survival crafting games have a history dating all the way back into the 80s, but the genre has really blown up in the last 15 years or so, with games that require you to hunt for food and build your own tools and shelter just to survive the harsh dangers of the world. It's a style of gameplay that just feels rooted in reality, as the struggle of having to manage your day-to-day -day chores while moving the story forward is one that players can relate to, which is probably a big reason why these games are so popular nowadays. Before we go any further, we wanted to let you know that this video is brought to you by Nightingale, releasing February 20th, an early access on Steam. Nightingale is a survival crafting game that puts a creative twist on the history of our world. After the Fae made their presence known in the 16th century, humans started dabbling in magic, and when a catastrophic event threatens the human world, realm walkers escape into the depths of the Fae realms. Nightingale introduces a unique mechanic called realm cards that let you seamlessly alter everything from the biome you're in to the lighting, weather, threat level of enemies, and so much more. Now, we didn't include Nightingale on this list because it hasn't even been released as we're making this video, but you'll be able to pick it up on Steam for just under 30 bucks in early access on February 20th. A couple of us at DualShockers have had the chance to play a pre-release build, and trust us, it stands among the survival crafting genre's best. With that caveat out of the way, let's get to the list. Number 10. Sons of the Forest. A follow-up to 2014's The Forest, Sons of the Forest brings that same creepy vibe to the survival crafting genre, effortlessly walking the line between survival crafting and survival horror. Just like in the first game, you're thrust into survival mode after your aircraft goes down in the titular forest. But this time around, you're playing the role of a search and rescue contractor investigating the disappearance of the Puffton family, who are central to the series' plot. Building shelters and traps is a necessity for surviving in the forest, as you'll be set upon by monstrous mutants and mysterious tribal cannibals, and you'll have to rely on both your wits and your can-do attitude to make it through each day. It's a little more techno-savvy than most games in this genre, as you are able to take advantage of 3D printing, and you'll be helped along the way by your sole surviving co-worker, Kelvin, who can help with camp management and the mysterious three-armed Virginia will dive into combat with you. Number 9. Valheim Whoever said all Vikings go to Valhalla? In this game, after a Viking has been slain in the mortal world, they first got to prove themselves in the dangerous realm of Valheim, which is filled with fearsome Norse creatures, from the werewolf-like Fenring to the terrifying Bone Mass. You can challenge Valheim's wild wilderness alone or in co-op that supports up to 10 players at a time. And you'll have to manage your health and stamina while also tending to your farming, mining, hunting, and foraging duties to build your own little slice of warrior purgatory, all while plotting to take down the game's six bosses and win Odin's favor and your ticket to Valhalla. Number 8. Raft The middle of an uncaring ocean isn't the most hospitable environment to be stranded in. But in Raft, at least you have a... well, a raft. And you'll need to keep making upgrades to it if you want to stay alive. Armed with your trusty hook on a rope, you'll salvage everything from palm fronds to barrels and bits of plastic floating on the ocean's surface, all of which can be used to expand your floating fortress and craft items key to your survival on the high seas. While you can swim around to collect things too, there's plenty of danger involved, as the ocean's currents will keep your home moving around even when you're not on it. Oh, and of course, sharks. That probably goes without saying. Number 7. No Man's Sky an ambitious project that's still seeing updates seven and a half years after its launch, No Man's Sky thrusts you into a ridiculously large universe comprising more than 18 quintillion procedurally generated planets with a ton of different effects, from scorching hot windstorms to radioactive miasma. Of course, you'll also have to contend with a countless variety of creatures, many of which would like to make you their main course, and a universe-wide plague of killer robots who seem to be watching your every move. Luckily, you've got a spacesuit and ship, but you'll be wanting to upgrade these from the start, as you're likely to enter the game on a planet that's not fit for sustaining the life of a human, or whatever an explorer is supposed to be under that helmet. Heed those warnings of thermal protection falling, and keep cutting away at resources with your laser, and you'll be just fine. Probably. Number 6. Don't Starve Previous games on this list have made you manage your physical health, but Don't Starve transports you to a parallel world where you'll also need to worry about keeping your mental health up, even as you're struggling to fill your belly. As Wilson the Scientist, you're whisked away to a surreal, Tim Burton-esque pen and paper world that has a unique and stunning aesthetic, but don't let that distract you from the goal of staying alive. Your mental health will be constantly under threat by the presence of monsters and the dark of the night, so Don't Starve lets you engage in some creature comforts, like flower picking and keeping yourself looking dapper in fashionable clothing as a little boost to your psyche. Who knew mental health affirmations could be this much fun? Number 5. Rimworld 
putting a little bit of a different spin on things. In RimWorld, you're not just trying to protect yourself, but an entire colony of people, all dependent on you for survival. While its top-down view and god game-like command structure are a little unconventional for survival crafting, we think it earns its place in this genre, as you'll need to set your characters to task harvesting resources to build your expansive technology tree and survive whatever ever-increasing dangers the planet you've crash-landed on can throw at you. Despite its minimalist graphics, the gameplay is a lot of fun, as your survivor's traits can really throw you for a loop, for better or for worse, as you take the lead and teach them to survive in this bold new world. Number 4. Subnautica We've already established that the surface of the ocean is a hard place to live, but underneath it? In Subnautica, that's exactly where you're going to have to build your kingdom. Specifically, you're the lone survivor of a spaceship that crashed on an oceanic planet, and now you're stuck in its depths where you'll have to defend yourself from aquatic wildlife, like bone sharks and crab squids, and the other dangers of subaquatic lifestyle, all while completing exploration tasks to move the story forward. At least you have your submersibles to keep you somewhat protected, but you'll still need to venture out to collect blueprints to keep your hunger, thirst, and oxygen levels slaked. It just goes to show that it's not always better down where it's wetter. Number 3. Terraria Taking gaming back to a simpler 2D format, Terraria has the honor of being the oldest game on this list, launching back in May 2011. It stood the test of time, though, with content updates lasting all the way up to late 2022, showing the lasting labor of love that its developers put into supporting it for more than a decade. Your customizable character dives deep into the 16-bit inspired Earth in search of precious resources for filling out a sprawling crafting tree and making your life above ground all the more comfortable. While hunger isn't present in all of Terraria's worlds, if you're playing one where it is, you'll also need to keep yourself fed before the debuff eventually sucks away your life. For its simplistic style, Terraria is a game that does a whole lot with a little. Number 2. Minecraft Releasing mere months after Terraria, and with a development team that's still bursting with content updates to this day, of course Minecraft's going to be near the top of the list. This stylistically blocky 3D adventure has been a lot of players' introduction to the concept of survival crafting games, and characters like Steve and the Creepers are more popular in some gaming circles than icons like Mario or Master Chief. With an almost endless combination of biomes, climates, and tints, even the intentionally simplistic, and might I add iconic, graphics keep looking fresh as you explore an infinitely sprawling world surface, seeking out rare minerals or corralling friendly creatures back to your bases scattered across the map. It might not have all the bells and whistles of some newer games on this list, but it laid the foundation that they stand on, and it's still a lot of fun to play in its own right. Number 1. Pal World We may be jumping the gun with this one since it's still so new, but Pal World hit early access with record-breaking numbers, combining survival crafting with monster catching in an Ark Survival meets Pokemon Legends Arceus mashup that's just a ton of fun to play. Not only will your monster friends, er, uh, pals, help you in battle, but they're also each designed to handle certain tasks, which makes resource gathering a lot less lonely and way more adorable, especially around your base camps. Of course, that also means while you're building your base and upgrading your technology tree, you'll want to care for their needs as well as your own. From providing them with comfy beds and relaxing hot springs, to filling their feed box and whipping up medicine in case one of them sprains a paw. Overall, it's a great cooperative survival crafting experience, even if you're the only human in the bunch. So, what did you think of this list? Is there anything we missed? Let us know in the comments, and if you're a fan of any of the games we've just talked about, be sure to check out Nightingale, which hits early access on Steam on February 20th. And for more great survival crafting content, be sure to stick with DualShockers.